Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome. Well, this is going to be a career finance reading. So let's get right into it. What is happening for you? What do you need to know about your career or your business? We have Six of Autumn, the Kiwi. So your success and prosperity have allowed you to put pay off debts, acquire wise loans, or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings. Be sure to share your wealth with others through donations or time or money to Ripple chart charity, charities. Oh, I speak. Okay, now let's see what that's all about. Six of Autumn would be the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is a give and take, even give and take. So what you get in, you have to um, yeah, share the wealth, I guess. But also this could mean that if you're working for a company, you know, you are getting well paid for what you're doing. You're not getting underpaid. And you are also give them quality work. So let's see. Let's clarify. And we have the world. This is, um, this is like you finish a cycle. Um, it's like a, your final destination. This could be the, the place that you stay with to, um, to you decide to retire. Or you could be retiring at this point that you did what you had to do. So that's what your conclusion is reached. So one cycle ends. Or also could be like maybe some of you are retiring. Like you end this cycle and now you're going to start something new. Okay. What can you do to move forward? Three of spring. This card comes up a lot. Okay, so sea turtle. It says, stop to take time to review what makes long-term plans capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to put yourself on the I keep on doing that. Pat yourself on the back, back for all your accomplishments. But you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. So yeah, so it seems like you completed something here and you've been very successful. But there's something that new that you're waiting for to come in or whatever it is. You have to be a little patient for it. Let's clarify that one. Why did we have the three of spring? Which would be the three of wands. Let's see. And we have the Emperor. Well, that's pretty fancy. So, so whatever you have to wait for, you're you're almost like you're getting ready. This is like taking your plan of action, being an authority. So maybe that's it. You have to just wait for the right timing and then make your move. Because this is like a lot of responsibility and you're able to handle whatever comes your way. Aries energy. How can you be more financially successful? We have the Nine of Winter. So that's the Nine of Swords. We have here, Sea Lion. Your worries and fears aren't real. They're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are you're afraid of stop worrying let go of the fear and everything will be okay yeah what you think about you bring about so don't put the fear in there um to be more financially successful let's see let's see let's clarify the nine of winter the nine of swords and we have the devil yowza so this is capricorn energy this is temptations this is being in a toxic workplace um you know this is like people that abandon their principles they're not behaving correctly this could be a very corrupt um place so if you're in a bad place uh it might be time to think of moving on Oof. so don't think negative you gotta think positive but i hope you're not in a bad environment it makes it harder to think positive but you have to that's the only way you can get out of it you can't give into it okay now where or what do you need to improve? And we have the moon, Pisces energy. So this is the lynx. It's important to trust your intuition. Even if you're unsure of what's happening, all will be revealed soon. So worry is unnecessary. He keeps on telling you not to worry. 
and not put any energy in. So, okay, so I would take as a devil, this is your surroundings. This is not you. So don't get pulled into it because that's what they want. You are stronger than that. You're the emperor here. So if you're the emperor, they know it and they're trying to bring you down. They're trying to cause you to fail. And you're too strong because you, you came up with the emperor. So, hey, you got it. Okay, so now the moon, Pisces energy. Let's see. Don't get stuck in Murray. That's what it's saying here. So don't worry about things. Things are you're transforming. We have the butterfly here. <coughs> oh, such a tickle. Four of Swords. You're healing something here. So um, if you, take a little break, take a time out. You're frustrated. There, whatever's going on around you is really frustrating you. So this is saying just take a take a breather take a break maybe take a vacation take a few days off from the job from work or something get away from this toxic environment okay what or who is an obstacle that you need to overcome the emperor <laughs> okay dear mouse Structure and organization important right now. Don't be afraid to take on leadership roles as you have much wisdom to offer. Okay, that's the obstacle. You got to make sure you take your power back. That's what this is saying. You have the emperor here twice. So, wow, you are powerful. And I don't know if you realize how powerful you are. Other people do. That's why they're causing this havoc here. They know. And they maybe they realize you don't know that you're very powerful and you have a lot to offer. Okay, let's clarify this Emperor, Aries energy. And we have the Ace of Wands. Well, that's amazing. This is, you know, you're going to be inspired to do something new. You're going to pursue your, your dreams, your um, new ideas. So also, if you know, if you, why am I seeing this? I'm seeing someone that is trying to pitch a sales pitch or something or trying to pitch an idea. And there's people in the background shaking their head no as as they're standing up front in front of other people and then that that knocks down their confidence and these people know that but your idea that you're pitching is amazing and they know that too oh yeah so there's new beginnings here there's you're gonna break out you're gonna break free from uh, whatever these constraints are this is what i'm feeling here that there's people around you they're just jealous of what you, what you're doing what you're capable of and they're trying to knock you down because you're above them Okay, let's see. Well, you need to overcome that obstacle of not having the faith in yourself because they're working on you. And they're working on you like in, in groups, like, but they're not working together at the same time. But they are um, collaborating. Hmm, not good. Okay, what is coming in the near future? You got this. What is coming in in the near future? nine of summer which is the nine of cups so it's a pomeranian dog now's the time when your dreams come true don't worry about how this will happen just give gratitude to god for all that you have and all that is still yet to come things are going to work out you're going to overcome this you're stronger than them and that's they know that so they're working every angle mm -hmm. you got this okay let's clarify this nine of summer And we have the three of wands. Nice. So this is, everything's going to pay off. It's on the horizon. You're waiting for things to come in. There's going to be rewards and everything's working in your favor, especially with the nine of cups. That is like major good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So what or whom is helping you? We have, oh, the chariot. Things are going to go fast. Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You're, you earn your rewards and recognition you're receiving. Oh, yeah, this is it. No matter what they tried here, you overcome them. You have the emperor right before this energy came in and then you had it after right underneath it saying you know what maybe it might knock you a little bit like they try to push you off your pedestal and you might just maybe a little weeble wobble <laughs> but you don't fall down <laughs> i'm loving it okay so this is going to happen really quick and you're going to have victory here 
and things are going to move ahead quickly here. And let's see, let's clarify this chariot, Cancer energy. Ooh, we have judgment. Okay, this is a wake up call. And this is giving you a second chance to do whatever you need to do here because you, th this was a test and you passed it. You know, it was, it took you, it, you know, you threw you a little bit and made you wobble, but it didn't knock you down. Okay, now, your potential outcome, why are these, okay, your pen, these just popped out right away, so we're going to have to take them. We have Prince of Winter, which would be the Knight of Swords, and this is Decision Focus driven impulsive thoroughbred horse get ready for progress to speed up that's what we have here this situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decision quickly yeah you're going to just have to take your power take your power back be in your power and then we have a peacock a white peacock amazing this is release release would be um what's release release is um it's time to release and and pass. And to, it's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is a first step on the way to a happier future. Yes. So, being that it is, um, why can't I think of it? The death card. Yeah. So instead of the death card they're showing here, this is an ending for a new beginning, which you are going to um, transform your life into something much better. So it's it's time to release the past. To move on to something new and this ending is the first step on the way to a happy future. Yeah, that's what it is. So this is representative of the death card, Scorpio energy, changing things, shifting things, a major transformation. And also, look how proud that peacock is. You know, if, if the emperor had a bird, it would be a peacock. <laughs> you know, so there you go. So now let's see what's on the bottom here. We have Ace of Summer. Nice, Dove. And it says, um, this is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. So there's love coming in for you, a peak emotion, a happiness here with the Ace of Summer. Probably the fact when you conquer these people, you're going to be very happy. And then the bottom here we have the Nine of Swords. So, you know, with the Nine of Swords, this is someone that is having a lot of anxiety about something that really is not even there so this could be insomnia this could be um not seeing things clearly anxiety not sleeping at night but you got this it's it's you know you know you gotta you gotta deal with the haters when when people can't achieve something themselves they're trying to push other people down to keep them at their level and you know that's their problem not yours Okay, guys, let's see what signs we're dealing with. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. Oh, two together Aries and Capricorn. Virgo and Taurus again so these could be placements in your chart uh, we did have Aries come up twice here that is very interesting so this and it's weird how we have Aries with the devil it's like you're gonna go against the devil and you're gonna win that's what I'm seeing okay so we have Taurus Scorpio Aries Aries Capricorn Virgo and Taurus so placements in your chart placements in other people's chart it could be people you work with it could be clients it could be even your family whatever there's this is what's coming in in your energy at this time of this reading okay so now let's go on to the letters this could be initials I'm gonna take 11 letters here initials first name middle name last name and again past present or future people that you didn't even meet yet coming in around your energy let's see we have R, K, G, Y, F, A, M, A, Q, I, and P. 
So the letters we have for you guys today are R K G Y F A M A Q I P. Now for the names. Again, this could be people coming into your life at this time, people you're dealing with, energies around you, or people coming in, past people. Let's see what we have. You'll know. Let's see. 11, please. 11 spirit. Please give us 11. Okay. I don't know how many you have there, but I think it's more than 11. We're starting out with Calvin, Courtney, Sean, S H A W N, Zachary. Oh, I do have a lot here. Joseph. But if it's in a workplace, they might all be here. Philip, Rosemary, Anissa, Anissa A A N I S S A, Kunjal, K U N J A L, Soraya, S O R A Y A, Jamie, J A I M Y, Sarish, S U R I S H. Oh, I already have 12. Okay. Linda, Rebecca with two C's, Samantha, and Madeline. Okay. I think that's the most I ever pulled on the names. That's 16. Okay. But it is a workplace, you know, so there's more people around you. So, hey, as long as there's 11, I'll take 11 or more. All right, guys. So remember, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so it cannot resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I'll let me know if it resonates. Please leave me comments. I love to read your comments. And I love you guys. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to get a notification every time I upload new videos. Because then you'll know and you'll be able to view them if you care to do so. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.